Hi, what's up Kama TV? This is the dating coach Emre from KamaLifestyles.com. So today I'm here with another exciting video and I will be talking about how to get girls to follow you and show you my infield clip. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear strategy to get your dating game into the next level and clearly visualize how you can take action. In this video, you'll also learn making your first impression worth her while, attracting her, challenging her, and strategies to get the girls to follow you. So before we start, let's click that subscribe button and turn on the notifications as there will be many more videos will be coming into your way. So let's watch the footage. My name is Ray, pleasure to meet you. Where are you going now? Why? I've got friends there. Do you want to have fun? <laughs> How far is it? Oh, it's just five minutes walk. Jesus, you know, it's yeah. It's like, I live in actually, you know, so... Whoa, 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 you're driving home? Yeah, because That's I didn't... not safe. I didn't drink. No. I was the yeah, desert. you do everything else. London's but fun. It's not that exclusive. Uh, I used to hang out a lot in two years ago, you know, it's like... But mostly like now I'm in... You know? Place yeah, so what music you guys listen mostly? RMB? I listen to absolutely everything. Sit one of you guys to the front. Gentlemen, mastering the art of being attractive to women and get them to follow you is something every man strives to do in the dating game. It is regardless of whether you have already found the love of your life or are still searching. Always make an effort to improve the way you are about what you offer the opposite sex and ensure consistency from women as far as their attention and interest are concerned. You don't have to be good looking but you need to look good. As we all know, men are visual creatures. Looks and the physical appearance are pretty much everything man and man is vain whether or not they're attracted to a woman or not. Therefore, as men, we can quickly tell within the first few minutes of our initial meeting whether we want a certain woman or not. Depending on the type of the attraction, it can end sooner than later or it can progress to love. However, women's psychology is somewhat different than from us. As a man, you may wow a woman by your looks, but that doesn't necessarily mean that she's attracted to you. In other words, it takes more to attract women. It is something that grows over time. How you relate and treat a woman determines whether she will be interested enough to follow you, whether she will make a chase of it. Making a woman fall for you is not a difficult thing to do, but you will have to have the right skills and techniques to pull it off smoothly, to be on top of your game. By being on top of your game, I mean that you will have to mix up skills such as mystery, charm, charisma, presence, communication, mindfulness, and curiosity, all the right measures. So guys, with that in mind, here are some of few tips that will make women fall for you so hard such that they cannot help but chase after you. Make your first impression worth her while. We have mentioned time and time again that the first impression can be the deal maker or breaker. It can make the women you are interested in thinking about you irresistibly and it can also have her forget you ever existed immediately you part ways. During your first date or approach, make sure that you exude confidence through the way you present yourself and the way you talk and the kind of things you discuss. The last thing you would want to do is start um, fumbling in front of the girl you're attracted. Another way you can exude confidence to your date is by assuming positive body language, that is, power poses and open posture. We have already mentioned countless times that our body language speaks volumes. You, therefore, want um, what you are saying verbally to align with what your body is saying. Assuming a positive posture shows your date that you are actually friendly and approachable. It shows a genuine interest in getting to know her. Mirroring, touch and maintaining eye contact are other non-verbal cues that also show your date that she has all your attention. Power poses, on the other hand, give the impression that you are a confident man, hold your head up high, chin up and shoulders broad. In a nutshell, the first impression you want to make on a woman should be that you are confident, approachable and interested and friendly. 
Such will make you unforgettable, which is the whole point, which means that she will want to see you again. Challenger. Women are worth dating. Never shy away from challenges. Trees and girls tag you the excellent guy's title and leave you for other men is that you are not the kind of guy who is always ready to please and chase. Chasing and pleasing will not get you the women. If anything, it gets the women bored. Therefore, instead of doing the hard work of chasing and being the pleaser, play with her psychology such as that she is the one doing the chase instead of coming across as needy, desperate and always available. Build an image where she will perceive you as a mysterious and powerful man who has no time to chase women because you have a lot going on in your life. Through reverse psychology, make her want you more than you want her. The reason this works is that powerful women will want to qualify themselves as worth your time. Do this by telling her things like, you are not right for me, you are too shy for me, or I don't think we can date. Make sure you smile though. The trick is that to say these things that, that are not dismissive or offending such that she perceives them as challenges as opposed to being brushed off. Do this and she'll move mountains to chase with you. Ask the right questions. Asking the wrong questions during the date or approach or in the mid game or pick up can reduce your chances with ever getting close with women. Accurate as this may be, it's not easy to know what to ask about. I mean, this is a person you don't know and hence have no idea of what they like and what they don't. Starting with the basics will help you out a lot. Asking your date or the girl you approach whether she has a boyfriend is the worst thing you can ever do. Your work as a man is to take a woman out and treat her. She will decide whether she has a boyfriend or not. Now that you know the one question that you should never ask. What sort of questions then you can ask? Here's the list. What do you like about your job? What is the most thing you like about your job? What do you like doing during your free time? If you left your job, what else would you do? What are your dreams? You will notice that these questions make her the center of your interaction. They give her the impression that you are genuinely interested in getting to know her. You should however be careful not to make it feel like an interrogation. You can do this by offering information about yourself. Like for instance, I like walking my dog Blake to the park during my free time. It's pretty much my hobby. So what's yours? Offering information about yourself shows genuineness, which makes it easy for her to get comfortable, which allows her to trust you and open up more about herself. The other category of questions you can ask a woman to make her feel appreciated and have her falling for you is to ask questions that appeal to her emotions. The best way to connect on an intimate level with any female is appealing to her feelings instead of questions like, do you like your job? Ask her something like, how does your job make you feel? How do you feel whenever you are singing? Guys, let's face it, the girl you approach or your dates means a good number of men every day. For all you know, she could be straight from another date that was a few hours earlier. The goal is to therefore stand out from all the men pretty much like who are trying to win her over. Engaging her in the right way will give you an edge over other men. Talk to her like she's the only woman in the world and she will always want to follow you wherever you go. Don't be too available. As humans, we are in a way that we get bored when something or someone is too available. To some extent, everyone loves the chase. It is especially so because of the sense of accomplishment that comes with the winning. In this case, winning over someone is very important because like we are out to pretty much like get ourselves a date, some looking for a pretty much like one night stands, whatever you're looking for. Guys, also too much of anything is poisonous. Therefore, to have a woman chase and do anything to be with you, give her space to miss and long for you. Cannot happen when you are all over her calling her all the pet names in the world. Be close but stay away. Make yourself scarce. Let her heart grow fonder with your absence. It applies even during dates or when you approach. Sometimes just cut the interaction. Always end your dates before she was had enough of you. For instance, when you have already eaten and have had at least one drink and is beginning to get comfortable, excuse yourself politely and end the date. The fact that she has not had enough of you will have her longing for the next time you will hang out. Be withholding. You're probably asking, how I can tell you to withhold information from a woman you're hoping to date? Well, yeah, I'm saying withhold and not lie. 
It is good to be honest and transparent, but being mysterious is better. Don't be an open book. Don't put your entire self out there. Well, no one will be looking forward to meeting you again when you already told her everything about yourself. I mean, she already knows everything about you. Why does she need to come back? Gentlemen, being mysterious will have her curious and eager to know about you. It gives the impression of being a powerful alpha male, which will have her falling for you. She will see you as a principled man who will not tell her about himself to please her. Such a bad boy impression will be known almost every woman. Pay attention to the small things. Here's a secret you need to know. The smallest things mean the most to women. Notice the tiniest details about her and watch her fall helplessly in love with you. I know it is not within really us to scout for what our date's favorite color or what lipstick shade looks actually good on her. However, we sometimes have to compromise and go against our nature. Therefore, noticing that red lipstick makes her look sexy or that she loves the color brown or remembering dates that are important to her will have her wanting you helplessly. Making an effort to recognize the smallest things about the women you are interested in will make any women chase you to the ends of the world. As you can see, it's not difficult to make a woman want and chase you. It however takes conscious effort to be able to make it happen. Women are easy people to understand. You only need to invest some time to learn your women better and then do right by her. It will be a smallest price that pay when you have her chasing you. It'll be an ego booster. Okay guys, that's all from me today and I hope all the tips help you out a lot and really appreciate that you have taken your time and watched my video. I know that it's a quite long video and if you're still here it means you really care about the content. Now go and take some action and apply what you have learned. Never forget, practice makes it better. If you want to take your dating life into the next level and if you're serious of making improvements, you can directly work with me and our team 101. Let's have a chat where you are and where you want to go. I mean your dreams and your goals, what stop you and what is working also what is not working and actually tailor your program which helps you to get A to B. So please click the contact us at the link at the description below and fill the form and I am one click away to help you. One of our customer service rep will respond to you less than 24 hours and make sure your appointment is set with me and with my team to discuss ins and outs as well as low points and high points. Gentlemen, please also check our services and ebooks at comalifestyles.com. Of course, if you enjoy my video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm Emre, and I hope to talk to you soon.